Hey there YouTube fans, AC Productions here and what you see in front of you is the padding finally for the riding jeans that I had ordered from Pakistan that took forever. I uh, finally got the, the padding and it's already pretty much October I would say. It took approximately since I would say probably end of April when I had sent the payment up to now. Five and a half months almost about to get armor that should have came with the riding jeans to begin with. So pretty much buyer beware of this person that's making the stuff is that he promises to get the stuff out to you within a week or so but the realistic time frame we're looking for any type of uh, clothing you're looking at whatever he says if he says two weeks just add a month so it'll be a month in a couple weeks or heck even maybe a month and a half in a couple weeks so it will take some time unless he's watching this video and then you know if you are you know just be honest with your customers if it's gonna take more than a couple weeks let them know that it's gonna take more than a couple weeks to get this stuff out to them all right so now that we got the the padding let's get our the riding jeans and i'm going to go ahead and start putting this stuff in so this is the knee pad or the knee armor as you can see you know flex is there this is how the back end it looks like just a generic mold really of a knee protection okay i also wanted to show you the close-up of the knee armor as well as you can see it came from a mold so it looks like he didn't even do a good job of even cutting it because see there's a lot of rough edges parts that he should have just trimmed but did not and then also i found it interesting that it actually says 1997 on there we're in the year 2023 so unless this mold was made from back in the day or heck maybe this whole entire knee thing is from 1997 i don't even think the ce rating if this is even a real ce rating this is way expired on the back or the other side i don't know guys but for me this kind of looks like dirt what do you guys think that looks like it's just dirt or maybe some dust maybe because these are from 1997 and they've been kind of just fell behind a bookcase or something you could see how dirty it is in there if these were new it definitely wouldn't be like that that's as best i could do with the zoom but you could see that's clearly dirt and that's just like on the crevice on this one and let me see if it is on this one too yep there's some dirt in there for sure that's uh actually kind of disgusting guys uh, getting frustrated already i didn't even put it in the pants yet if it's from 1997 we're looking at 26 year old armor which I don't even think that's even legit anymore because most stuff you know expires after what five six years and even on the top over here it's not even trimmed properly not even trimmed at all on this side this side same thing this one he meant to, made an attempt to trim but didn't do it all the way let's look at the hip armor and I'm not sure if it's actually supposed to be trimmed, if this is supposed to be the real hip armor. And he just didn't even bother trimming the rest of this. You see on this one, same thing, there's an uh, imprint of the pad. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be, all this is supposed to be trimmed off. And it's just really this shape. You know, it's just imperfections in the foam that you can see. There's like a hole right there. A lot of little bubbles or whatever in the foam. Same thing with this one. There's also, you can see the imperfection, foam bubbles or whatever. Then there seems to be some type of what would have been some lettering. Like it's supposed to be imprinted or not. I'm not sure you guys could even see that. Looks like a letter T. I can't really make it out. But yeah. Then lastly, on the, on the pads, you know, there are holes for ventilation, as I'll mention again, but there's no holes on that side. So how is this supposed to be ventilation? If you notice on this armor, there's holes. But check it out. The holes actually go all the way through because you could actually see the yellow from this pad behind it. Holes on that side, holes on this side. So that would be real ventilation. It does have some wording over here. I'm not sure if you guys could see that. I'll try to, you know, get it to focus and just move slowly. 
that's pretty much what it says it doesn't it doesn't appear to say left or right on the knee armor let me see this one yeah there is no left and right again it just it's how the back end of it looks but there is a left and right for the hip pad and this is the hip pad on this one it's more you know you could see kind of the lettering a little bit let me get it a little bit more closer so you guys could see it so as you can see over here it's indicating this is the right hip hip pad and then when we flip it over it's just black with uh, some I guess imperfections in the way they molded this it looks like a two-piece black and yellow and it's pretty stiff I would say which I guess would be good I mean it is flexible obviously it's flexible but you know it is kind of on the stiff I guess is what you would want for hip protection and then here's the other one and this one is not it, it's it's you know pressed in there but it's kind of like they didn't press it hard enough but you could see that this is for the left the holes to allow ventilation but it's so weird because the holes are on this side but when you flip it over there is no holes so what kind of ventilation are you going to be really getting all these are just like little like marks in the or like little bubbles in the back end of the foam which is very odd like I said holes on this side uh, you can't really get any ventilation if there's no holes on the other side same thing with this one there's holes on this side but yet no holes on the other end very odd all right so let me go ahead and let's uh, move this off to the side and let's get to the jeans now here is the jeans so far i've been wearing the jeans every time i go for the ride and you know if you saw my last video or my first video about these pants is that i had put because it didn't come with any armor or any pr knee protection or waist protection for that matter you know uh my waist uh, my hip guards for my alpine stars it didn't fit in the pocket they were too big and the knee the, i'm gonna go ahead and pull it out actually now that i could put it back to my uh, alpine stars uh, the knee protection for this it, it fits but it you know it didn't fit perfectly centered so actually let's kind of compare a little bit on the the knee protection you know obviously you know different pairs of pants different armor so it's just real quick comparison on, on on the knees so let me go ahead and flip this over so this is obviously alpine stars you could already see on on the um what he said it's like a you know more of a you know contour for the knee so it's like the shape of there so let me just maybe uh, hold it obviously this is more flat and super flexible and it has you know a design over here in the front this one's like a very i don't know it has a design not sure if you really could see it on camera too much the design the little lines or whatever i'm guessing it's part of the mold or whatever you know it says ce rated which i'm not even sure if it's really ce rated but hopefully it is i mean it is pretty thick so i'm hoping that there is some protection here but as you can see this is the cup part for the knee and the alpine stars it's not really like that's really kind of flat and then you have a little bit more of the shin protection compared to this one is not really that much i guess this would be you know kind of be more towards the leg you know con you know conform towards more of your leg as the alpine it doesn't really do it. it's just kind of a flat you know uh type of um foam material and then obviously in the back you could see the lettering it's like really visible there all right so that's pretty much it for that so let's just go ahead and get to it i'm gonna go ahead and remove the alpine stars out of there start putting the armor in where it's supposed to go in, in the jeans so i just noticed that when i had taken out that armor from the alpine stars i could see that the stitching actually already started coming off from the velcro so i may have to stitch that myself not sure why i only have never like i never constantly open it like this i had just put it one time and then so it's very odd to see the stitching already coming out uh on the on the jeans itself and it just only seems to be that little part all right so that one is out let me go ahead and uh, grab the other side let me see how that one looks actually oh that one is uh, still kind of together all right so that's my alpine stars i could probably put that back alpine stars pants all right so i'm really curious with the hip uh, armor which you can see it's like this so i'm gonna go ahead and put the hip armor there uh let's see let me see how it's gonna fit on my on me so i know i put the hip, right uh hip armor on, on the right side all right so this is gonna be for the right side so i'm gonna grab the one that says right and here it is it says right right there okay so the the black part would go towards out like uh facing out towards you all right so let's go ahead and open this little pocket and then we are going to go ahead and just slide the hip armor in there and make hopefully it, it fits in there and it looks like it seems like it does but now you cannot velcro it back together so it looks like yeah all right well i guess that's how it's gonna be you cannot velcro the the piece back together because obviously it's in its way so if he were to make the pockets on this just a little bit more deeper to accommodate the hip armor i think it would fit better so i'm showing you this guy so you guys could see you know kind of the craftsmanship is that is, has gone into these pants now that we got the proper armor 
Well, at least I believe it's the proper armor. Obviously, it doesn't seem to fit all that well. At least it fits the majority of it. So uh, I may just kind of alter it myself. I may, you know, just cut the material a little bit more or whatnot, or, or you know, maybe uh, sew it here at the edges or, you know, put a Velcro piece or something here uh, on my own time or whatnot. So that's that. Let's go ahead and put the other um, armor piece in. Also, you want to make sure that you put it, you know, I guess this is pretty much the way it's stamped. It's the way it's supposed to like be right side up. So don't put it in this way. I guess it might be upside down if you do it this way. So I'm just going to go by from what the lettering is saying that, you know, this, this part is the top part. Okay, let's put that in there. Or at least try to slide it in as much as it's going to go in. Maybe this one would fit a little bit better. I'm trying to get it as close as to the, the bottom edge here as possible. Which it still doesn't seem to really fit. I mean, this one fits a little bit more in there than this one. You can see it's sticking out a little bit more. This one kind of a little bit more inside. But yet, the shape of it, or the material that he used, is not really conforming to the waist, the hip pad itself. So, uh, a little disappointed in that. I was just really hoping that it was going to really fit all, you know, I was surprised that I was able to even get hip armor. As it wasn't mentioned that he was going to supply this stuff. All he mentioned was the knee pads. I was happy, but now I'm kind of a little disappointed that it's not fitting all that well. Well, let's cross our fingers that the knee pads are going to fit better. So let's go ahead and grab the knee pads. All right. So I'm just going to open that. And then on this one, like I said, knee pads, are, there is no left and right. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put that in there. So just open up the, the bottom because the bottom. And then we're just going to go ahead and slip it in. And hopefully they do fit. Might have to struggle a little bit. Because it seems like these are a little bit bigger than for whatever reason. Alright. It's going in so far pretty good. And yeah. As you can see guys, you can't even Velcro it because this bottom part is in the way. Very disappointed now. I thought this would actually work and I was really happy that... I was able to finally get the knee pads, but as you can see, they don't even fit in the, in the pocket. And he's the one that made these pants, so you would figure he would be giving you the right set of knee pads or armor. Well, guys, I'm going to see what I could do on trying to make it fit. I may just even just put my, my Alpine Stardust knee pads, honestly, back in there because this obviously is not going to work out. And, guys, the disappointment continues to come along. As you can see, I already this is the one I had showed you guys that I had put. And this one's even worse. This one even sticks out even further down compared to this one. I try to Velcro it or try to at least put the corner of it, even though now it's kind of slanted, not even, you know, straight. So same thing with this one. I'm going to have to move this one to the side, making the curvature even slanted, just even try to close it so it wouldn't even come out. Well, guys, I'm going to put on my very disappointing pants now. Honestly, guys, if I had to go through this process again, I would probably not do it not worth it as you could see very disappointed on the craftsmanship as now with the, the pads not even fitting at all you know and yeah and even even with the the fitment of the pants you know i gave them exact measurements of myself measuring down to even millimeters and yet the pants are very big you know if i would have known that i probably would have sized down from what i originally was maybe it would have been a better fit but as of now I'll actually i'm gonna put the pants on right now so you guys could see on how huge these pants are all right guys i have to stand this far away to show you guys about the pants and the reason i'm holding it because i don't have my belt but i kind of just want to show you that these things are huge uh, like I said, I gave them exact measurements, but yet, you know, and I only ordered maybe like one size bigger, but for me, like they, they're like really big. I could pull them out this far and got a, at least a good six inches. You know, it shouldn't be that big. Uh, again, buyer beware, you guys. If you guys are going to order from him, you know, just maybe whatever you're measuring, measure maybe two down, down, because yeah, this is insane. I can't, I can't even wear these pants without a belt because... This is what happens. They literally just fall. All right, so back to the video, guys. As you can see, obviously, I was not going to show you me with my pants down or whatever, but uh, yeah. So this is the, this is pretty much the pants of me. Uh, so I could, you know, bring it down a little bit. You guys could see this is how much space, and it's uh, that's all around. I mean, I there's no way to really adjust one. And when I put the belt, it literally just bunches up. So you could just grab this much material of the pants 
and then fold it over and then it'll be a, a pretty nice snug fit and that's you know with the belt so and it, it just sucks you know to always have the pants like that you know i was really rooting for the guy you know telling me to customize pants and i was like this is great because alpine stars obviously only goes up to size 40. i'm not even sure what i could even do with these jeans anymore the hip armor seems pretty decent even though i'm not able to you know secure it on the top but as far as the knees heck here is my knee let me actually let me go back guys check this out here is my knee the knee pad is over here and down. It's not even on my knee. Wow, guys, I am super disappointed with these, these pants now. All right, guys, and we are back. I had to put a fresh new battery in the camera. And let me show you how it looks like with a belt on. It's, it's pretty ridiculous on how these pants look. So let me zoom in close to my junk here. And you can see... This is all that's sticking out just like that because I have to really, you know, bunch up the pants to really get them to fit normal. And yeah, I just left with all this kind of uh, jean material hanging out on the pants. All right, now we are on the bike and the bike we're on is the Jixxer 1000R. All right, so let's get the feet on the foot pegs. And yeah, uh, knee pads are definitely not where they're supposed to be. Obviously, you can see my knee profile right over here, but the knee pad itself is up here. And this shin guard or whatnot is actually pushing the pant leg this way. So, I don't know if you could even see that, guys, on camera. I might, might probably lower the camera a little bit, but it's literally not even conforming to the shape of my legs. Normally, the knee pad and then the shin guard would, you know, like bend over to kind of protect your shin, but this is not even protecting anything. So I'll zoom in a little bit, but yeah, that's on this side. And on the other side, it's even more of a joke because the knee pad is not exactly where it, where it needs to be. So let me, let me actually show you that, guys. Alrighty, guys, now here's the other side. As you can see, my knee literally is right here. This is my knee, but the knee pad is all the way right over here. Right where my hand is, that's where the bulge of the knee is. And then as I go down again, the shin guard is not even even protecting my shin as my shin's right here and this knee pad is like or the shin guard is like all the way to the side so it's really protecting nothing and then again it's just kind of protruding my pants like out a little bit it's again guys it's kind of hard to see um yeah it, it, here's where the the shin guard is right over here and you can see it's just kind of pushing out so it's not even conforming to anything oh just, just a disappointment guys i can't express to you how Extremely disappointed. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it through my voice, but I'm just so super disappointed. Oh, guys, yeah, very disappointed. Like I said, you know, it's just wasted time, wasted money. You know, I could have just, you know, maybe found a different manufacturer. At this point, I could have just wore regular jeans and, you know, made my own or whatever, you know. So that's why I'm at with these. Just a, just a big waste. So I'm, I'm doing this video for you guys so it doesn't happen to you. Well guys, that's the review of these jeans. What a major disappointment. I was really hoping that these knee pads would fit because that's what I was waiting a long time for. They were supposed to be included with the pants, but yet, you know, I had to wait. If you saw my video, if you didn't, the link is going to be up here for that review. I can't really root for this guy anymore because I'm just so extremely disappointed in this. You know, like I said, time wasted. You know, I could have looked for a different brand, you know, to look, you know, to get something. Heck, I could have just went to a tailor, bought myself regular jeans, and had a tailor, you know, kind of make me some pants or whatever for cheaper. Uh, so not only time wasted, money wasted, you know, even though these were not that expensive, but still, you know, that's money out of my pocket going to this guy. All the way around the half, pretty much all the way to the other side of the world. And not only that, I had to like, you know, send the money to, to, to a different person. And then, you know, had to wait. Uh, apparently, this, this uh, person that makes his pants takes a whole bunch of holidays, is what they call it over there, which in, over here in the U.S. is called vacation. You know, normally he just takes, he says he has to take a couple days off, which is not really a couple days. It's actually a whole month, you know. So what he's saying that he has some special Ramadan or whatever holiday they have over there, and it's a whole entire month. And not only for one month, you know, he'll have random vacations along the year and they all for one month and he won't even you know if, if he has your order ready he won't just go to the post office or wherever 
to mail your order. And it doesn't even come to your doorstep to begin with either. It goes to someone else and then it gets shipped out. And sometimes you even gotta pay extra for shipping once it arrives. So he doesn't even directly ship it to you. He actually bulks up everything, a whole bunch of everybody's orders. So if he has like 100 orders, he'll wait until he finishes all 100 orders, which even takes even more time, and then ship it out to whatever you know country or whatever, um, or a state or whatever, and then that person, you know, kind of sorts out through it, and then you know either he'll you know charge extra for shipping to ship it out to your house or whatever, or if you happen to live in the same state as that person, you may have to go over there and drive to that person's house or you know at a meetup spot to get your your your, your order. So that that was another thing. Uh, I personally met the guy that uh, I picked it up from. He's a really cool guy. Uh, it's just that. The guy who actually makes this stuff, it's, it's just not working out uh, for me. I mean, you could have a totally different experience, but I'm showing you this video, guys, so you guys don't get kind of ripped off like how I did. Maybe he'll be better in the future, but I can't really promote his stuff in this video. So underneath in the description box, there's not going to be any information about this guy's products or anything like I mentioned in the other video. If you want to go to the other video, go ahead. All information will be, I'll probably still leave it there. But, and I also put a link for this video in that video so you guys are more aware of everything that just kind of happened. So, kind of very disappointed in everything. And now I'm just kind of stuck going back to, you know, everything else. I mean, I'll probably go ahead and put my Alpine Star knee pads in here because at least those kind of sort of somewhat fit in there uh, on the, the knee department of the net. I'm going to still look for a tailor to kind of adjust these pants to kind of make them fit more because this is just crazy. And now riding season is pretty much come almost pretty much over. We're already in October and not much riding left. So, all right, guys, I didn't want to make this video too long. I just kind of just want to show you my experience. And like I said, I was really rooting for the pads. I was really happy to get the pads, but now I'm just more, more extremely disappointed than I was before. All right, guys, well, take care. Catch you guys on the next video. Uh, I wanted to do the other video, which is pretty much should be coming up soon about the helmet review. Uh, I wanted to, been wanting to do that video for a while, so stay tuned for that video, guys. Uh, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, also leave some comments down below of what your thoughts about this. Would you purchase pants from overseas? Uh, you know, knowing what, what the quality you might, you may not even know about the quality that you might even get. Leave them down in the comments. I wanna know what your thoughts are about this. Um, you think I made a, a major mistake? I, I think I did. Oh, gosh. All right. Um, catch you guys on the next one.